Introducing Python. Python is a rapid development uh, programming language that allows you in a very short period of time to write sophisticated programs. Python makes it easy for people to be creative because again you don't have to uh, weigh yourself down with meaningless details. You can focus on the problem that you want to solve, the thing that you want to create. We don't want programmers to be in charge of the world. We want humans to be in charge of the world. Not that programmers aren't humans, but we want to turn control and power over from the programmers to the people that are actually adding all the value on the web, which is authors, for instance, people who think HTML is a programming language. Python is a very good fit for that. I think I counted once and discovered that I could write at least 14 different programming languages fluently, and there are a bunch of others that I've forgotten. And um, Python is, of all the languages I've learned, the one that does the least to get between me and the problem. It's the most effective for translating pure thought into action. Python is a high-level language. The distance between what you want to accomplish and where you're starting from is smaller than it is in other languages, so you can get more done in less time and have more fun doing it. That's what I would say Python's main advantage is for people of any age, even professional programmers. Introducing a Python love story. Hey, um, I lost my email address. Can I have yours? Sure thing. It's come back when you get a haircut at your loser dot Shut up. I mean, um, how's your project coming? Good. Almost finished. What about yours? Fine. Just great. I'm just having one little problem with it. What little problem would that be? Like getting started. Are you serious? You mean you're still stuck? Oh boy, don't tell me. You're using that program that what sounds like G++? Oh yeah, what else is there? That is like so 20 minutes ago. Why don't you just pull out a slide ruler? Do you have any better ideas? Oh of course, Python. What's Python? And how come you're the only one using it? It's the most efficient, easiest, greatest, gnarliest, most tubular language there is. How's that? Well yeah. My dad taught it to me to get me started on programming. It's such a great first language to start off, and it's less technical. Really? Well, yeah. But Python is much more powerful than you could think. He uses it in his work, too. Hmm. Actually, that sounds interesting. Well, do you want me to teach him? Really? Could you? Sure thing. Yeah, you can come over at 8 o'clock tonight. But that's when Voyager is on. I wouldn't worry about that. Well, I kind of... Great. I'll see you there. Okay. Thanks. Python made a lot of sense just, you know, to read through it. I mean, literally, to read through the, the program. You could almost see as everything went. Some computer languages simply amplify the kind of thinking that you already do. Some computer languages teach you fundamentally new ways of looking at problems. Python is like Lisp in that it tends to teach you new ways of thinking about problems to broaden your mental horizons. We began using Python at Yorktown High School two and a half years ago when we needed a replacement for Pascal as an introductory programming language. After investigating many programming languages, we settled on Python, and Python has been successful in that regard beyond our wildest expectations. I get emails from people who are in high school or in junior high and who ask, how do I learn to program? Uh, how do I become a hacker? Is Python a good language to learn? And I try as best as I can to, to send replies. And often I, I, I give someone like one URL, just start downloading this thing and here's the tutorial or here's the best tutorial for your situation. And people write me back one day later, wow, this is exciting. Thank you so much for, uh, for giving me that, that, that little start. 
I, I feel that they really, with, with very little help, just one or two URLs, people can start learning Python. Let the snake be your teacher. Yeah, we're kind of under a strict deadline, you know. We're slaves to the establishment. Working for the man every night and day, I know what you mean. So, could we use it, Dad? Sure thing. Great. Dad, I think I hear the doorbell ringing. Oh, really? No, I didn't. Well, I did. Okay, but I could have sworn I didn't hear anything. Yeah, sure. So, what does your dad do, anyway? You know, a hippie from the 60s, overpaid for playing with computers. I'd guess you say he's a freelance programmer. So he was the one that taught you Python? Well, yeah. Uh, he calls it his secret weapon. Python is so simple, and you can start in just one evening. Really? Can it do all the things that other languages do? Well, yeah. The only thing is you can get much more progress in a shorter period of time. Oh, hey, look. Voyager's almost on. Oh, we can do that later. Voyager can wait. Oh, okay. Here, let me, let me try and see what I can do with... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gee whiz. That was my favorite shirt, you jerk. Well, um... At least we match. Whatever. It's okay. Wait here, I'm gonna go change. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's see, get started in one evening, huh? That looks simple enough. This must mean... Uh -huh, yeah, okay. Let's see how this goes. Nina is really hot. Oh, man. Okay, I can use this module over here, yeah. That works. This is really great. This is really great. And so is Nina. Wow. Well, you have to... I wasn't aiming at all at using Python for educational purposes. However, I had kept so many of the original ABC features that other people who picked up Python for their own use realized that it, it actually had potential in education very quickly. And you know, I, I, I don't remember the date, but I think in 1993, uh, I started getting email from people who are, start, who are teaching Python to their like six or eight year old children. I see a dramatic difference um, in their ability to learn programming. They can, they can learn with more success. There are less stumbling blocks in terms of difficult syntax and Python, Python also being an interpreted language has an, a development environment that allows for immediate feedback. You can actually start the interpreter and ask the kind of what-if questions that are essential to, to learning to program. Well certainly for learning programming Python is a really good choice because without Python you, you, tend, you tend to get bogged down in a lot of details that are not important for your problem. So if you want to understand how uh, software works, you know, Python's a, a good choice. Our, our teacher really liked the idea of incorporating a fashion idea into computer science because he had never really seen anything um, that was so girly in computer science. Um, so, I mean, girls can do it. They can make web pages. They can work with Python. Yeah, I got a kick out of it. You know, it's kind of fun to be able to see, especially the web page, to s actually see what you're changing and making something cre like pretty. 
the fact that it's easy to learn means that it, it can spread like a virus because you can teach somebody in an afternoon, somebody who's a professional programmer or, or who has some experience in programming languages can learn it in, you know, enough to be productive in no time. Um, and once they've done that, then they start, they have an easy progression to the power of Python. And once they've learned, you know, picked up on the power of it and seen the, the wealth of uh, libraries, they can map that to their problem domain very easily. So it, it's very flexible. Python is powerful. Hey, what have you done? I was just working on this program, actually. Uh, check it out. Wow, that's great. Hey, I bet, bet it'd be great if you had this. Yeah, that was totally on target as what I was doing. How about actually this, too? And you could also add this. Excellent. I was also thinking... Oh my... Sorry, I gotta go. This is... This is... Wait, this is my house. Yeah, you're, you're right. Sorry. Of all the languages I've dealt with, it seems to have the widest range of application in that it's both suitable for early use by novices and also heavy duty use by professionals for large scale projects. Most other languages um, don't negotiate that trade off well. They tend to be either good introductory languages that don't scale up or good languages for large complex programs that are too difficult for novices to acquire. Um, Python plays well in both those roles. Unlike other languages like Perl, Python does scale up into very large scale problems. We have this thing called Zope, which is an application server, database server, index server, web server, etc. Very large scale commercial quality application written in Python. Well, long before we envisioned developing Zope, when, when I first joined the company and we were thinking about our software development strategy, we considered um, using Java instead of Python, and we, we realized that, that Python was a competitive advantage. Um, it, it's, you can develop programs much faster in Python because it's a higher level language and, uh, and it's a very clean, easy language, and so we could, we could be a lot more competitive than other companies who were writing with Java or even at that time with, with languages like C++ or Perl. Building Linux kernels is a complicated problem. You have to deal with all kinds of funny constraints between selecting different features. I wanted to make it easier. And uh, using Python, I was able to write a system that actually has a theorem improver, a sort of artificial intelligence inside it, that can make deductions about the choices that you're trying to make and deduce side effects and tell you when you have an inconsistent configuration. Uh, and the interesting thing is that Python is so expressive that I was able to fit the user interface code uh, and this artificial intelligence sort of construct in less than 5,000 lines of code. I pity the fool that doesn't use Python. Hey, Nina. I know it was kind of awkward last night, and I'm sorry I spilled jolt on your shirt, but I was thinking maybe... Yeah. Uh, well, I just wanted to tell you that I'm falling in love with Python, and I guess I'll just go back over here now. So, yeah. Attention students, a diary was found this morning in the cafeteria. Since there's no name in it, I will proceed to read this first passage now. Dear diary, although I never seemed possible that I would say this, I think I've finally met Mr. Wright. His name is Mark, and even though he has no fashion sense or coordination or the ability to talk coherently and is just plain annoying, he has this geeky clumsiness about him that I find irresistible. Anyone who is responsible for writing this little love ditty may come and reclaim it in my office now. That is all.
the most exciting result of our project so far is what Python does for advanced, the advanced programmers, the kids who really take to it. Because the, the ones who sort of want to stay up late at night and not get enough sleep because they're programming all the time. And the, w those students all of a sudden have a tool that can make th them able to write incredibly sophisticated programs. Perl has, with some justice, been described as a write-only language. You can write it, but it's very hard to read it afterwards. Python, on the other hand, tends to remain readable for a long time afterwards, and that's really important because code doesn't only have to be written, it has to be maintained, too. The power is in all the additional libraries that come with Python and, and the ability to uh, easily glue it into all your existing stuff. So Python has an extensible power to it that allows you to, to be a, a professional programmer and really do um, almost all of your work in Python. It's interesting that um, in, if you were learning another language, the most common problems would be syntax problems or even just figuring out some simple parts of the language. And the most problems that people come to me with is specific library issues or figuring out how some new um, thing, some new library works, like sockets or uh, CGI. I mean, these, these things never come up if you're learning C or, or C++ because you never get that far. Uh, a really cool thing we did this year was uh, we wrote CGI scripts, which are basically scripts that uh, interface you with the web so that uh, you can talk with forms and you can make quizzes and have it generate random data for the web and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Python made it a lot easier to do the CGI scripts because you didn't really have to s struggle so much with the syntax and you could focus more on the logic of, of the problem and really get to what you were trying to achieve. You can grow into it because professional programmers use it for very sophisticated applications and there's huge libraries of, of uh, powerful r functions that you can use from Python. So it, it provided an opportunity. It, it was an ideally suited language for introductory programming. We've, we've tried Python. We like it. And although we've, uh, before we've tried new technologies almost every year, this time we're sticking with it. And this is, we're probably, we're st next year, our third year, we're still going to continue doing Python. And that's new for, for program languages because years before we've switched languages every year. Hey, Mark and Nina. Hey, uh, Nina, I know you probably don't want to talk to me right now, but I wrote you this Python program. What does it do? I don't know. Maybe you should try running it. Okay. Oh my god, that is the most thoughtful thing that anyone has ever done for me. Well, I couldn't have done it without Python, and you, of course. Oh, Mark. Oh, Nina. Python has so many users around the world by now. And Python is, is everybody's language. That's how I think about it. It's code that you immediately share with people. And you post a program, and you know an hour later or a day later, you get a question from someone who's using your program. And there's really nothing more satisfying than knowing that something you did is being used by people out in the real world. Uh, and when you're doing a, a homework problem uh, in you know, computer science, when I did my homework in high school, it's, it's uh, sometimes a challenge to solve a particularly tricky problem, but it's much more interesting to know you're doing something useful that's really a help to people and benefiting people. And, and that's what I like about open source and what I like about Python. Being involved in open source, and I've, and I've been doing sort of giving away software since about 86, I have met, virtually met, so many people um, in parts of the world with backgrounds and cultures that I would have never had the opportunity to meet otherwise. So working on open source and working on Python for me personally has, has really um, broadened my personal reach of people and, and contacts. And I think that that's sort of an underestimated um, benefit of working on open source projects. Python is, is an open source product, 
project. And um, there's a the community around it is very nice in uh, giving out the resources to things that they learned and explaining things and helping other people learn the language and a lot of software that are developed using Python are open source so you can use that software to learn programming. Python is our secret weapon. Um, it is the essential ingredient to our argument about speed to market. And it's the essential ingredient about turning power over from the programmers to the content people. So if Python is that important it makes sense that it's, it's a strategic thing. We need to go and make sure that Python is secure for the future and that the team stays together and that it actually becomes very competitive, that Python becomes one of the most competitive uh, choices available to people in programming. I've been involved in programming for, wow, 30 years now. I think I wrote my first program in 1971. I've been programming seriously for 24 or 25 of those years. Uh, and I've never ceased to find it exciting, stimulating, challenging, and rewarding. I've seen a lot of tools and I've seen a lot of languages go by. Um, and I've never seen one that I like as well as Python. Peace, love, Python. Give Python a chance. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh sorry, whoops. Jeez, that was my favorite shirt, jerk! Hey, hey, it's, it's, oh, hey, 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 h